Hey YouTube, we're back with another video. And today's video is gonna center on how I route my, my tracks to my reverbs, how I send them. This question was actually submitted with a comment from, I believe it's Chaz. Um, sorry if I pronounced that uh, name wrong, but uh, he wanted to know how I set up my reverbs and how I send my tracks to that and how I set up early reflections and all that. So I thought I'd just go into depth, show how I do it. I'm gonna state it from right now. It's very basic as I use for reverb, as I use uh, spaces and what I do is, I send everything out, um, I bus it out to its own um, bus out here. So I separate all the sections of the orchestra, my synths and everything, percussion, all into its own thing. And then I have an instance of QL spaces running. And usually what I'll do is I'll, that's the new feature in Logic, it, it uh, turns things off when it's not in use. So basically what I do is I'll just use Quantum Leap Spaces. This is the first version I need to upgrade. But anyway, I like this reverb. And what I do is I'll find a preset uh, going for what I need it. And the one I like is the San, Fran San Francisco Hall because uh, they usually have it broken down into sections, like they'll have the winds, they'll have the strings, brass, etc. And then, um, so that's what I do with the orchestral stuff. And when it comes to like synths, uh, right now I'm currently using Black Hole. I think I've recommended this before. Uh, so this, I really like this reverb. And right now it's just the standard preset. I don't have anything. I think it's just the factory, whatever's loaded, um, just because I haven't loaded per project in my template. And then if I need something specific, I'll just go into a preset here or a monkey with the with the settings. But to be really honest, I use I usually use presets. And the one I really like, I like the black hole one and I like this Jonesy and Alex uh, from Sugar Us. I think I pronounced that right. Um, if I'm going for more ambient stuff, I'll definitely use this one. Um, but to, I just usually use the black hole um, reverb and I'll set the tempo to sync. Or if I'm going for like that loose kind of fill, then I'll, I'll, I'll just keep it off or select manual or whatever like that. But that's how I do my, um, my tracks based on the bus. You know, so I'll have those, basically it's just QL spaces and a black hole. Uh, sometimes I'll use, you know, other reverbs, um, uh, maybe like Van Halla, I'll use that. But right now, black hole is pretty much the one I'm, I'm going with. And then how I have this routed, I'm experimenting right now. I also I saw a couple of videos how some people do it. This is how I've done it for so long. You know, back when I would do rock music, you know, I would just have a track that would go to the stereo out, and then I would bus it from a send to the bus that I want. So as right here, we're looking at uh, percussion. Um, so this is routed out. This bongos are routed out to bus three, and how I have that set up is. I just go here to bus, and then the ones that I've created, I select the one that it falls into, and, and then apply it. So as you see, I have woods, brass, percussion, strings, piano, synth, choir, and guitar. Um, and then what I'll do is, right here, you could select how much of the send you want. Now, if you hold down the option button in Logic, uh, it'll just set it to zero, and then all you have to do is just bring it down how much you want to come through that channel. So when you're sending it to your, so it's gonna be sending it to the stereo, you know, your main bus, your stereo, which is right here. Let me show that to you. Right here, so this is my master bus right here. So it's sending a track there, and then it's also sending the track to the stem right here uh, for percussion. And then what I do is, what you can see is I could, I could lower it here, or I could lower it within the send. Um, so that's how that happens. And then when you, if you solo like the percussion here, we'll, we'll do that real quick. So let me go to that bongo. So as you can see, we have it going here and then it's sending out to bus three. And there's bus three. So let me just solo that. So as you can see, all you're getting is the reverb tail on that send. And when you do it this way, like I said, if you go to this volume right here and send it, it will, you know, put more of that reverb tell in that signal or not. So that's how I'm doing it currently, but I have noticed some people, they'll actually just go to the stereo here and then send it a bus that way. So it's not going to the stereo, so it's going to the bus, then the stereo, master stereo output. I don't know, right? like I said, this way I've used now for, I don't know, forever and this is how I've done it uh, but please put in the comments if you know a better way logic how to route or if I'm doing this incorrectly please let me know uh, I, like I'm always you know willing to learn and be more efficient but that's how I'm doing it so chat that was Chad's question uh, if you would like for me to answer a question on a video or future video 
put it down in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video. I want to do more of this, uh, help out people's questions and show them within Logic or Cubase. If you have a question or want me to show you how I do something, yeah, please put that in the comment section. As always, you can find me over at composingmadesimple.com. We have a podcast there I do with uh, Curtis Schweitzer and Christopher Ciu. Uh, we do a podcast talking about sample libraries, a little more focus on composition at, uh, for the digital artists, you know, kind of the mainstream right now, how to be one. Um, and, you know, we, we just give our opinions and what we experience and what we're going through uh, as, as we're going along this journey. But anyway, I hope you like this video. And like I said, if you want to submit a question, just put it down in the comments or you can go over to my website, ToddKWords.com, and there's a, an Ask Todd uh, button. Just click that. There's a form you can fill out. I'm thinking about making one on Composing Made Simple, but for right now, that's currently where it is. But in the future, it probably will be ComposingMadeSimple.com. Everything's going over to that. So anyway, I appreciate you, the views. I appreciate the support, the subscribes. And also, if you like this video, like I said, like it. If you're, not, if you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, that always helps. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you on the next video.